Good morning or evening, wherever you are. <laughs> um, this is CC from Generation Wellness Global, and I wanted to share. So I am a bit of a knowledge lover. I love to learn and I love to share, and I've just come across all this information this week about dopamine, which has really fascinated me because it's so relevant for me and one of my children. And so I just thought I'd share, and I'm not claiming to be an expert about any of this, and I'm still learning, but I just thought I'd share what I've learned because I have some tips and solutions as well. And um, so um, a friend just posted, it's really funny, a friend just posted about this as well, and I was like, oh, my goodness, this is just so many pieces fitting together. So dopamine, we have neurotransmitters. Let's go back to neurotransmitters. We have messages are passed through the body through either the nervous system or the endocrine system. So the endocrine system, I will do other videos about, but they are chemical messages that run through the bloodstream. And then the nervous system requires neurotransmitters to connect messages across because there's gaps, there's synapses between the nerve cells. So the messages have to be able to pass that gap in the nerve cells. And to get through, they need neurotransmitters. So the neurotransmitters are released into that gap and then messages can be passed. So the type of neurotransmitter and the quantity will determine different types of messages. So um, I wanted to talk specifically about dopamine today, but we also, I will get to touch on a couple of others because um, I have just such a love of my oils and they come into this as well. Um, but basically dopamine, if you have if you have lots of dopamine, you've got lots of energy and you're really onto it, you're really functioning, and that doesn't happen a lot in our house. I'm just going to say it doesn't happen a lot in our house. So if you don't have a lot of dopamine, your executive functioning is quite, you know, you don't have a lot of energy to go and do. And um, so you can tend to be not, you, you might consider yourself not particularly functional or able to get things done or able to execute or um, not having a lot of energy to go and do what you need to do. So sometimes, because we need dopamine, dopamine's almost like we need that fix. We need that fix. And so what we can do is we can seek it in a variety of ways and some of them are not very helpful. So you can know, oh, here's my to-do list. This is what I need to do today. But I feel like if I read this book or play this video game, I'm going to get what I need for my brain right now. No, you're not doing this on a conscious level. You're choosing this on a subconscious biochemical level. You're going to zone out and play this video game or read this book because it gives you that hit. It helps you to feel good even though you're procrastinating what you actually do and you're going to feel crap about that later and all the other things because it's giving you what you need right in that moment. And I was just discussing this with one of my kids the other day because they are classic at this. Um, now, we took this to a spiritual level as well in our discussion. Sorry, lots of ideas. <laughs> Are we still the dopamine zone at the moment? Um, Lots of ideas. So on a spiritual level for one of my children, this was around um, having false idols in a way because it was self-gratification over a higher um, calling, what they needed to get done, what would honour them physically, spiritually, emotionally. They knew this is what they wanted to do. They knew that this is what would ultimately make them feel good. But for right now, reading that book is giving them that little bit of a hit so that they kind of feel better if they just do that. And so we looked at working on the spiritual level around um, self-gratification being an idol and how we can um, make choices to do what truly honours us spiritually um, giving first fruits to the most important things spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically. Um, now that's pretty deep, but 
that just gives you a more spiritual perspective of of um, what we were looking at and then we look at you know so in my work I look at what fears and blocks and negative beliefs we have that we might hand over or repent for or clear um so um because what what you're doing is you're looking for that dopamine and sometimes you find it in a not functional way but it meets that chemical need it meets that biochemical you know like um we we and that physical need and um so reading that book and procrastinating the things that are going to make you actually function today and get stuff done and tick off that list and ultimately feel really good um we just can't get ourselves there because it means we have to get up and function and go and do and this relates to spectrum stuff um add kind of stuff as well so it's kind of all in that basket but just as i'm learning about it because i'm learning you know that we're all kind of it's a spectrum we're all kind of there um my kids are there in different ways i'm there in different ways um so we're getting a little bit of a hit with whatever we're doing that's distracting us or procrastinating us or helping us not function and get anything important done. But it's giving us what our body feels it needs in that moment because otherwise we wouldn't do it, right? So we're getting that through the video games or the scrolling or the book or the whatever. Now, a way to overcome it, um, one thing you can try is to visualize that bigger hit that you'll get when you actually do that to-do list or when you do that thing that you've been putting off. If you can actually spend a moment to feel how good that will feel and connect with that because that's a bigger dopamine hit than the little bits that you're getting by doing not doing what you need to do. So if you actually can connect with that feeling, that can be enough to, to start that momentum, that forward ex executing momentum that a lot of us struggle with um i've had just so many conversations about this lately it just blows my mind how everything's like bing 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 i was like i have to share and i'm not i'm not sure if i'm making a lot of sense but i hope i am so the other thing i went back to i was like i know there's something in my notes about essential oils and dopamine <laughs> so i went back through my notes and jasmine which is not one I use a lot. <laughs> I'm going to start using it a lot now on myself and my kids. Um, Jasmine can help support that um, biochemical neurotransmitter pathway. And um, so if you don't have essential oils and you want to know more about that, please get in touch. But it has to be pure it has to be from a natural form right because it's got to interact in your body in an, in that natural biochemical pathway i am a really big advocate for natural means because from my background in medical research i've seen a lot of stuff and i really understand how our body works so much more powerfully with um things that it can recognize, things that are bioavailable to it, things that work, you know, the plants were given to us for our healing, for our benefit, not just as food, but as medicine as well. So I'm a really big, big advocate for um, natural, getting, having, having a lot of natural remedies on hand. So, I actually know a lot of families with um, spectrum kids, ADHD type stuff. They love, 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 love the oils. And I would, if you if you need something like that, get in touch and I'll tell you more specifically some, some different ones. Um, patchouli is fantastic as well. Um, and one that was really identified early on for one of my kids, like that would be a really great oil for them. Other, so 
Dopamine is one of our neurotransmitter pathways, and I want to do this in a separate video, but I thought I'd just mention it here. Some of the other neurotransmitters you might have heard of are serotonin, um, which is considered the happy hormone. 90% of your serotonin is produced in your gut. So this is where gut health becomes really important. And actually rose essential oil is really great to support that pathway. But um, there's so much more I could go into about that. So I won't on this video because I was supposed to be talking about dopamine. But I just thought I'd, you know, these are some other things that might be familiar and you can ask lots of questions. And um, and then we've, I want to do another specific video about this one, but this is adaptive, which was designed to work within the GABA pathway, which is the same pathway around which um, anxiety medication and stuff like that is designed. So it's part of... Um, you know, like this is all amazing emotional support as well as cognitive functioning support as well as, as well as. <laughs> so I just was so excited about the way all of this stuff was lining up around dopamine. Like I was talking to someone last week about how they and their son really struggle with the executive functioning and that's what their life is like as a spectrum-ish person. I, I get confused with the terminology because it's all kind of just different ways where our biochemistry doesn't quite support us to work to our full potential. Let's just say that. So they have trouble with executive functioning. I was like, oh, my goodness, I recognise one of my children <laughs> and myself. Um, and so and then, you know, I read, I was reading a science book to my kids and it talked about dopamine. And then this post by my friend and it talked about dopamine. And I was like, oh, my goodness. And then I was like, I remember in my notes there was something about dopamine. So I do have a good memory I don't need the rosemary I just need more jasmine um so I just wanted to share and ask if you know more about how this all works or if you have experiences um I've also heard good things about using saffron um for these people that struggle with executive functioning that sort of um stuff because it's really good for just brain health in general and um yeah, so I'd love to hear your experiences, what's worked for you, what hasn't, what have you considered the underlying spiritual aspect? Um, because there's, there's always something there that we can learn from and we can improve with um, work in the spiritual, from the spiritual perspective. And um, so that experience with one of my kids about um, self-gratification being their idol, so to speak, is they're putting that before their spiritual well-being. Um, that's, that's specific to them, but it may resonate for many people. It may be something similar or it may be completely different for you, but it's worth, it's worth pondering, isn't it? It's... Um, it's a really interesting aspect to go down and to consider. So um, please share. Please ask questions. Please, if you need more information about the oils or a specific tailored package for your situation, get in touch. I'd love to um, do that with you and find out what's really going to benefit you specifically. And um, so I just... Just going to keep learning and keep sharing, and um, yeah, I hope I hope you got something out of this. It was really fascinating to me. All right, take care, guys. Have an awesome day.